hello and thank you for joining me for today's information session. Um, I can see quite a few names I know on the list already. Um, my name is Lisa Hogan, for those of you that don't know me, and I'm the Membership Relationship and Engagement Executive for the IMI. Um, today's session is for membership champions of IMI corporate members and those that support the membership champions in the administration of your membership benefits. Um, so the best memberships are always the ones that you actually use and they're the ones that you get the most return on investment. So in today's session, I'll be running through the entire suite of benefits and the event schedule so that you can plan you and your organization's, organization's usage for the year ahead. And then you can see how that might work to support and tie in with your learning and development strategy for 2021 and then help you achieve the maximum return on your membership investment. But if you are not a membership champion, don't worry, please do stay on the line. You will still get a lot from today's session um, as I will be running through the entire benefits package and the full 2021 event schedule. You'll be able to plan your own personal usage for the year ahead and then start looking at what you might petition to get from your membership champion. So I can also see on the list that there's a couple of new membership champions um, and some new members on the webinar. So I'll just give a quick overview of what membership is. Um, existing membership champions, don't forget that this session is recorded, as I already said. So when you receive it, do please free to share it internally with any other colleagues that you think might get some benefit from viewing this. Um, so to start off, the IMI membership is your go-to place for continuous development throughout the year for every audience within your organization. We partner with you as your leadership center of excellence. Through membership, your organization gains access to the latest thinking from global thought leaders, the best in class knowledge of the IMI associate faculty network and IMI staff. And then throughout the year, through our membership events, we bring world leading experts directly to you and your people so that you can bring that expertise back into your business and action it. There is also a suite of on-demand, wide-ranging learning supports available for all your staff that caters from new graduates requirements all the way up to the CEO. So I'm going to run through the entire suite of benefits in the 21 calendar so that you're reminded not only what you have access to, but what exciting sessions will be coming up during the year. There are two levels of membership available, Inform and Transform. Um, we have a mix of both today. Um, if for whatever reason you're unsure of what level your organization has access to, or if you would like to talk about upgrading, please either contact your membership account manager or membership at imi.ie. But no matter which level your organization is on, each level will provide you with a flexible pathway to provide the professionals in your organization with world-class learning and development opportunities and a range of L&D resources directly from their desktop throughout the year. This table on the screen here will show you the full suite of benefits available to both levels and it's pretty much is the agenda for today's session. I'm going to spend the next few minutes going through each item in greater detail so that you know what exactly is happening in 2021. And if you have any questions as we go, please do pop them into the Q&A portal and I'll answer as many as I can at the end. Um, I won't be looking at the raise hand functions, so apologies if you put, if you put your hand up. I'm not ignoring you. <laughs> I will answer questions at the end. So. As you saw on the table, the first membership benefit I will run through is the membership events. As everybody is no doubt more than familiar with this at this stage, uh, these are broken down into a variety of event series and your membership then gives you access to complimentary tickets for specific event series. Every year, our event series are designed to help keep you and your people up to speed and future ready. We identify key trends and the content of the events are then informed by those findings. So for 2021, I might conducted research into the future of work and the trends most impacting leaders now and in the future. And then from this, we identified three key pillars. These pillars were shaped by research conducted by our research team, the membership team, as well as a load of insights gathered from you, our membership community, our clients and our faculty. These three pillars shape the 2021 membership calendar with each event exploring an aspect of a key theme in depth and allowing you to build on your learning and development as the year progresses. This year, the three themes will be the hybrid organization, strategies for future growth and building a sustainable organization. The hybrid organization will focus in on the digital and the physical and how all leaders have become digital innovators needing to balance people and technology to amplify the ability of both. The pandemic has certainly sped this up and in our events we will dive into the lessons learned from customer behaviour to internal practices and then what leaders must do to evolve their organisation to one that fits the modern landscape. 
The Strategies for Future Growth pillar then will have our leading experts exploring how to create strategies in a landscape where change is accelerating at pace. And then how leaders can keep up with that, be agile and innovative and become your organization's conductor of performance. Then the third and final pillar is the Building a Sustainable Organization pillar. This will focus in on how leaders need to create an organization that can perform sustainably at pace, no matter what the external pressures, like a global pandemic, for example. The focus here will be on developing sustainable organizations, looking at such things as mindset, agility, adaptability, resilience, and how to grow out of a crisis. You can see the calendar of Inform events on your screen now. Both Inform and Transform members get access to all of these events. And as I said, each series of events will have a correlating session for each of the pillars. And then the entire National Management Conference will be shaped by these pillars as well. I'm going to quickly run through each of these event series, give you a sense of what they will entail, remind you of who they might be best suited for, so you can start deciding where you might allocate these tickets or even get colleagues to pencil these dates into, into their diaries now. I would really recommend looking at the full calendar strategically at this stage so you can plan your usage for the year ahead. And I would also start thinking about how you might want to go about communicating these events to targeted audiences internally. Now is a really good time to reflect and plan. And then usually January is a good time to go out and start reminding the collective organization about the benefits they get. Um, I find anything communicated on this side of Christmas tends to be completely forgotten. So, But you'll know your own communication style and what lands internally yourself. So you can allocate places to colleagues that are not only interested in the session, but where the content is also applicable to their own learning pathway and requirements. And this is something I really recommend looking at because you'll get a really good targeted value return on their time spent, both for the organization and for them away from their desk job. Um, so I'm going to go on to the Masterclass series now, which I hope all of you are very familiar with at this stage. Uh, this is one of our most popular event series. Uh, each session usually sells out well in advance, um, whether it's our in-person events um, or the digital offering that we've um, had to pivot to during the pandemic. Um, as every other year, I do recommend highlighting this event series and trying to make sure that you don't miss any of them. I also recommend that you register for your complimentary tickets as soon as you see the event, registra event registration email come through to avoid disappointment. So all members get access to a limited number of complimentary in-person tickets or the digital passes, as well as a new benefit, courtesy of the digital versions of the sessions, access to on-demand content. So that on-demand content does vary depending on what the speaker has um, requested. At the very least, it could be a temporary recording. In some cases, it's a permanent recording. Either way, it's a really great way to share that learning um, out in the organization as a whole, and also for viewing at a time that suits you and your people. Um, in case you're not 100% sure, the Masterclass series is a series of events that provides access to our members to the global thought leaders and their cutting edge next practice ideas. Uh, the speaker profile tends to be people with a very strong international reputation with the credentials to back it up. So, for example, they might be from the Thinkers Top 50 list, uh, best selling author, authors, um, or from internationally recognized institutions uh, such as Harvard, INSEAD, or Yale. Um, and as I said, this series is specifically designed for senior executives. So it is a really good one to invest in for keeping your top team at the top of their game. And given how busy that cohort of professionals can be, there really is no harm in going out now or in early January to give them first refusal and the chance to pencil the dates into their diaries nice and early. You have all the dates now. Um, it's only if something drastic happens that those dates would change. Um, and then, as I said, once you get the registration email into your inbox, you can register those people officially for those places. Um, just a quick reminder, when these are in-person events, they're the half day keynote session that has the really excellent senior networking opportunities. And then when we provide it in the digital only, por uh, digital only format, um, it's a 90 minute more practical session with the same level of cutting edge content. Um, people's feedback was that it was just too much to sit in front of the screen for a full half day. So for 2021, we expect the two first sessions to be fully virtual. And then hopefully, uh, depending on how the world goes, we'll be able to welcome everyone back to in person for the final session of the year. 
First up will be Jacob Morgan, who will be dealing with the strategies for growth pillar in his session, The Future Leader. Jacob is a four-time best-selling author, keynote speaker, and a futurist who explores leadership, employee experience, and the future of work. This session will identify a new arsenal of nine skills and mindsets that leaders must possess if they want to guide themselves, their people, and their organizations to success. In the second session, Hal Gregerson will cover the hybrid organization pillar. Hal is a senior lecturer in leadership and innovation at MIT and Sloan School of Management and a recipient of the Thinkers 50 number one leadership award and an author of 10 books. And we're very excited to have Hal over, uh, well, virtually over. Uh, in this session, attendees will get the insights, tools and the frameworks for navigating the human side of digital transitions and for delivering innovative results when working through change. Then our last speaker is Marga Hoke, and she will be hopefully covering the Building a Sustainable Organization pillar in person. So Marga is a true visionary on sustainable business and capital. She's a global voice for climate change, and she too is an award-winning author and member of the Thinkers 50. And in this session, delegates will discover the pathway towards a successful sustainable business model while acknowledging commercial realities and capitalizing on opportunity sustainabilities bring. So that's the masterclass series and we're moving on to the mini masterclass series. The mini masterclass series gives your people access to short practical learning interventions, each again designed to cover one of the three pillars for 2021. So where the masterclass series provides access to global thought leaders, the mini masterclass series tends to be populated with more local talent, often IMI associate faculty members. So again, the standard of content in these sessions is really quite excellent. The sessions are ideal for a mid to senior audience, um, executives, managers, it really depends on the topic, the remit that people might be interested in. Uh, the delegate eligibility criteria for these sessions is not as tight as the masterclass series, but we do find that there is a broad range of attendees from middle management all the way up to the C-suite level. So don't cut off the top tier when you're going out to find out who's an interest in attending. Uh, these sessions are always 90 minutes long, whether in person or digital. So we find that they tend to appeal to a broad range of an audience looking for short learning interventions on a specific topic that interests them. So I know I'm saying that you go out and find out who would be interested in attending, but I am also aware that there's a large number of members that are very targeted in who gets to attend these sessions and often we'll have them inbuilt into people's personal performance and development plan for the year. And then that there are others that just operate a lottery system. So any suggestions that I make today are just that, they're just suggestions. But if at any stage you would like a more in-depth conversation about your specific requirements and get a feel for what you might be able to do differently, please don't hesitate to contact your membership account manager or membership at imi.ie. We're more than happy to speak to you about that. So again, members get access to a limited number of complimentary in-person tickets and or digital passes for these events, um, as well as then the access to the on-demand content for these events. Similar to the Masterclass series, the recordings are either temporary or permanent. So for 2021, just like the Masterclass series, we hope to have the first two sessions um, fully virtual and then the last one in person. Uh, the first session will be delivered by Kerry Fleming. Kerry is the managing par partner of Elios an Associate Dean at Ashridge Executive Education and has worked with Fortune 500 companies, international governments, Indigenous and international organisations as well. In her session on empowering your people through purpose-driven leadership, Kerry will be covering the Building a Sustainable Organisation pillar. And this session will show attendees how they can inspire and empower their people to cultivate a purpose-driven and outcomes-oriented culture to drive real and transformative change in your organisation. The second session then will have Tony Moroni covering the hybrid organization pillar. Tony is managing partner with Beta Digital, a specialist digital transformation advisory firm and is co-founder of the Digital Transformation Lab at UCC. And this session will explore the drivers and benefits of digital transformation and equip you with the framework for considering your own transformation and progression. The third and final masterclass will be an evolutionary approach to innovation with Ben Chinoy. Ben is a visiting professor of psychological and behavioral science in the London School of Economics. The session will address how most innovations fail and how established enterprises are typically poor at innovating precisely because they focus on executing their current business model well. 
So in this session, attendees will explore, explore how established enterprises overcome this so-called tyranny of success and embed a culture of innovation instead. So on to the webinar series. So the webinar series differs from the other two in that it provides bite-sized learning interventions. They're approximately an hour long and it's accessible to everybody in a member organization. So a very nice broad um, uh, audience that this can go out to. Uh, the sessions are provided by thought leaders and specialist practitioners. So again, the standard of speaker and content is of very high caliber. And these webinars complement nicely any company-wide L&D strategy. And members, as I said, get access to an unlimited number of complimentary digital passes, as well as access to the entire back catalogue of recordings. And we've been running these since 2017. So there's quite a nice number in this back catalogue. And the majority, I think all but one, have um, not been dated at all. So the entire back catalogue is really good for accessing and reusing um, as existing collateral. So just like the other event series, the six webinars will be informed by the three pillars. And through this series, your entire organization will have access to the developmental opportunity um, that ex that's explored through these three pillars. And as you can see on the screen in front of you, there are some really interesting topics coming up for 2021. So I would really recommend thinking about how you might fully leverage both these in-person, or sorry, not in-person, these live sessions, but also the on-demand collateral um, as it's always a permanent recording. So there's quite a lot of scope there. So finally, in the Inform membership um, event series, we'll look at the National Management Conference. For context, the National Management Conference is a member exclusive and a flagship event in the corporate membership calendar. It's held on the last Thursday of September every year and is hugely popular with our members. It literally does sell out every single year. Um, in 2021, we are hopeful that we we'll be back in the full in-person format, but if not, we are well equipped to digital or deliver it as a virtual conference or digital conference, if you will, as we did this year. Uh, it is a half day conference. It's exclusively for C-suite level managers and the day provides access to cutting edge thinking from global thought practitioners and leaders and when in person, really high um, caliber senior networking opportunities. So to remind you about what delegates can expect, the 2020 conference was entitled Reflect, Reimagine, Rebuild. The lineup hosted Dr. Dambiza Moyo, an economist and best-selling author, Kelly Williams-Yost, the world's leading authority on high performance work flexibility, and Mac Michael Yacobides, a top thinkers 50 and specialist in innovation and strategy. So as I said, we don't release the title or the speaker lineup until much closer to the day, but it will be a roster of heavy hitters from the global stage and will be informed by the three pillars of 2020. Inform members get access to one complimentary ticket for their most senior manager and then transfer members get access to five complimentary tickets and um, with the idea being for their senior management team. Um, so given the busy schedule of people at this level, I would really recommend getting this penciled into their diaries in January. Um, and then as we get closer to the date, we'll start releasing the title and the speakers. So we're moving on to the transform level a member events. Um, that are exclusive to Transform Level. Uh, Inform members, I'm going to go through this quite fast, so please don't leave <laughs> the webinar. Uh, and if you're interested in upgrading, just give membership at imi.ie or your membership account manager a shout, and we'll be more than happy to speak to you about that. So the two Transform event exclusives are the People Strategy Network session, and then for 2021, it's the Future of Work series. Uh, unsurprisingly, all three of the People Strategy Network sessions will answer each of the pillars. And then the future of work is inspired by the collective three. So both series are interactive with small group discussions and peer to peer learning. Um, and just to note before I delve into the series specifics, these sessions are interactive regardless of the format being in person or digital. We ha still have the small group discussions in the digital format. So the People Strategy Network is specifically designed for senior HR, L&D and organizational development executives. And as such, that would be the delegate criteria. The network provides a, a direct access to a selection of global thought leaders and cutting edge practitioners. And as I already mentioned, it also provides interactive small group discussions to facilitate the development of a confidential space for peer to peer learning and support. 
So where possible, we do recommend that the same people attend all three to really develop that network, although each one can be attended as a standalone. But with this combination of learning and networking, this series is really useful for answering the need for the professional development requirements of time poor people who work within these remits. And considering the areas that most member cham champions tend to work in, this is probably the event series for you to attend personally. Um, and then just the logistics, transfer members get access to a limited number of complimentary places in each of these three sessions. So in some cases, it could be your entire HR team that can attend. Um, for 2021, the first session will be with John Ingham, one of HR's executives, top 100 HR tech influencers for 2020. And it will be under the strategies for future growth pillar. The session will be on HR as a leading growth strategist and will focus in on how HR must navigate important polarities by focusing on business growth and developing capabilities for performance in the now and performance in the future. Lisa Gill, who was included in the Thinkers 50 radar for 2020 for her work with self-managed teams, will, delve, will deliver the second session on decentralised and ambidextrous organisations. Connected to the Building a Sustainable Organization pillar, this session will explore the mindset and capability shifts needed to free up the human ca capacity in our organizations. The third and final session will be related to the hybrid organization pillar and facilitated by Kira Darcy. An extensively experienced hum human resources director, Kira is formerly HR director of Accenture Ireland, head of HR with Google and technical director with IBEC. So she comes with a wealth of very practical knowledge. This session will explore how to evolve your company's culture so that as an enabler of performance centered, flexible workplace. You will discover what aspects of company culture are most at risk in a hybrid work environment and see what HR needs to do differently in a digital world. The Future of Work series then takes its inspiration from the three pillars and it's designed to keep senior managers future ready, specifically within the sphere of the future of work. It's recommended that the two sessions are treated as an interconnected short program, and if possible, that the same people attend po both sessions. As they are only two sessions over the course of the year, this may appeal to people who are time poor, but still really want to dedicate meaningful time to remaining future focused and future fit. And transfer members, unsurprisingly, get access to a limited number of complimentary places on each interactive session. So the series will be facilitated by future of work expert Bruce Daisley. Bruce is one of Europe's most influential voices on fixing work. He's a best-selling author and his podcast Eat, Sleep, Work, Repeat tops the business charts on Apple iTunes. The first session will be on workplace culture and attendees will learn how to foster psychological safety, see why workplace energy is so critical to understand motivation and improve how you motivate teams and then discover what teams think is and how to foster it and derive lessons from other great workplaces. The second session is in the latter part of the year and will be on a culture of innovation in the workplace. Attendees will explore the neuroscience of creative thought and see how the best firms systematize creative work and learn a time proven technique for innovation. So you can see how all three pillars intertwine nicely on these two topics. So that's the whistle stop tour of the membership events for 2021. I'm quickly going to move on to the next suite of benefits, the IMI learning and development supports. These supports are the on demand part of the membership resource. Um, these are the resources that everybody in your organization has access to. They are made up of our IMI live content, our own IMI insights and the IMI knowledge center. And just like the event series, I'm now going to spend a little bit of time clarifying what each of these entail. So as we move through the next session, though, I, if you haven't already thought about this, I would ask you to consider how you might utilize these resources in the context of your own company in 2021 and see if maybe there are other ways that you might be able to leverage these to further help support your own L&D strategy and answer any existing developmental requirements in a way that you may not have done already. So IMI Live is IMI's virtual learning environment. All our virtual experience are designed to the same transformational learner centered philosophy that underpins our classroom experiences. And this also includes our digital IMI events. How this impacts on the on demand learning resources is members access to the complete back catalog of recorded IMI events and IMI leadership webinar series so that they can reuse them and view them at a time that is convenient to them. And as I'd mentioned earlier, some of these are permanent from the event and others are only temporary. But here is a quick snapshot to remind you of what these videos entail. These recordings are a really wonderful way to share the learning with the entire organization, as well as enabling those that attended live to have the opportunity to revisit and fully absorb the content on a need by need basis. 
So then IMI Insights are IMI own produced content. This comes in a variety of formats, our blogs, our podcasts, our long reads, and a toolkit of curated content in the IMI Inspirational Insights. All of the content is created with, with a professional in mind, but it's written in a really easily digestible manner, crafted to be very concise and really appealed to the professional. So, and the different media, like the short practical subject expert articles found in the IMI blogs or the very popular podcast, makes it really easy for members to access this on-demand cutting edge learning at a time and a way that suits them. So whether it's on their commute or their daily walk, there's something that people can access everywhere. So as I, sh as I hope, and I'm sure you already know, the IMI Knowledge Centre is the jewel in the crown of the IMI membership L&D supports. And then just a little reminder, each staff member of an Irish-based member organisation is entitled to a personal Knowledge Centre account. This provides access to the largest collection of business and management development resources available to organisations in Ireland. And what this means is that everybody in your organisation gets access to the physical library on the IMI Sandyford campus, uh, the full IMI library catalogues, so that's everything in the library catalogue, whether it's online journal articles or the hard copy books, and they can be posted out to members as well. This is something we've always done. Um, it's not just because of the pandemic and lockdowns. At any stage, a, a user can email the Knowledge Centre and request a loan to be posted out to them. So the full catalogue is always accessible. And then there's also the Leaders Toolkit and the HR Toolkit, as well as professional research support via our team of dedicated subject librarians. So this extensive resource gives your people the opportunity to find immediate solutions and support to answer their personal learning requirements and the challenges they face on a day to day basis. So for those that are new to membership or the Knowledge Centre, I have pulled some samples of the content from the Leaders Toolkit and the HR Toolkit to give you an idea of the kind of content that you and your people can access from your desktop. So while the full library catalogue is very impressive and very um, handy to have access to and has a huge wealth of materials, we do find that members get most use out of these two toolkits. The content is far reaching and it caters for every level within your organization um, from graduate level all the way up to C-suite. And it tends to be written in an easily digestible practical language which tends to appeal to the busy professional. Um, all the will in the world and you will really only have time to read so many books in the year. Whereas at the toolkit, you can digest quite a large number of content and learning and ideas um, you know, whether it's uh, practical stuff like how to implement a flexible working strategy or looking at what maybe leadership theory is all about. Um, it's it's much easier and quicker to digest, to get through it. Um, what's wonderful about this is it also tells you how long each piece will take you to get through. So it's really handy for people planning their day or planning their personal um, journey of learning, whether it's self-directed or incorporated in something else more formal. Um, as I've briefly touched on there, the toolkits do have a variety of different kinds of content from how to guides, key ideas, videos, infographics, e-learning. There's something for everybody and something that will answer everyone's learning requirements. And it's accessible 24 seven from your laptop or your desktop or your phone. It's quite mobile compatible as well. So it's a really excellent resource for people to know about and to have access to. Um, I'm going to give a very high view of these next two benefits um, as by rights, they could both have a whole a whole information session on them individually. Uh, the IMI Network Mentor Programme is run in partnership with the 30% Club. And this is an ideal programme to allow your organisation to develop high potential talent, engage your senior leaders and create new pathways for networking and innovation. And we've been running it very successfully since its launch in 2015. And we're now delighted to offer intakes in Dublin, Cork and new for 2021, Galway. Transform members are entitled to one complimentary cohort in their 12 month fee period and then can purchase additional cohorts if required for 2000 euros per cohort. Um, so I would recommend that you really pay attention to when your 12 month fee period is so that you can utilize this cohort as you go. Inform members too can purchase a cohort as an add on to your membership package. And that is 2000 euros per cohort as well. A cohort comprises of two mentors and two mentees. So that's four people are covered for that 2000 euro fee. 
Uh, full details of this programme and the participant criteria can be found on our website. But in brief summary, a mentor is a senior executive with an interest and flair for mentoring. And a mentee is someone who's been identified as a high potential within your organisation. Uh, feel free to contact the programme manager at mentoring at imi.e if you'd like more information or to receive an application form. But uh, just to note, uh, one, one frequently asked question I often hear is, uh, to do with mentors and what's expected from them it's it's good to just emphasize that there it's not just them giving up their time to mentor someone they get an awful lot out of the program as well there's a whole series of thought leadership events throughout the year that they go that's pitched at their level there is breakfast briefings and networking and also the feedback we get from the program is excellent there's an awful lot of there's a high amount of reward um, from the mentoring relationship. I, the majority of relationships continue on past the end of the program. And we find situations of reverse mentoring, um, as well as just learning from a new point of view, even when that point of view is coming from the mentee. So it's not that they're just dedicating their time to a program. It does develop them as well. And yeah, the, the feedback from it is that it's transformational. Um, yeah, it's a really excellent programme. If you're a Transform Level member, definitely don't let that one pass you by. So uh, then on to IMI programmes. Uh, all levels of membership can avail of generous IMI programme discounts. Uh, and currently, all IMI programmes are delivered either through a blend of live face-to-face -face and virtual sessions or fully virtual sessions, depending on what's currently going on with uh, governmental guidelines. Uh, but be it in person or virtual, our high impact transformation learning approach or HIP model uh, lies at the core of all IMI programs, meaning these sessions are always interactive, engaging and experiential. All of the details for each individual program is available on our website and the savings that members can make is clearly listed under the fees section for each program. So it's all clearly transparent there for you. Uh, to avail of the discount, the program just has to be booked using a work email address from a member organisation and then the discount can be applied regardless of how the program is being funded. So it could be someone in your organisation wants to self-fund it. It doesn't have to be paid for by the organisation in order for that benefit to be applied. We also have a full team of program advisors that can speak to individuals within your organization or your HR team to identify the best program for the specific, for the specific developmental needs. And they can be contacted at programadvisors at imi.ie and they'd be more than delighted to speak to you about that. So we're just moving now into the very last membership benefit uh, before we move into the Q&A section. Uh, I can see a couple of questions have come through, but please do keep sending them in and I'll get to them now in one moment. As part of IMI membership, all corporate members can avail of four complimentary executive size meeting rooms during their 12 month fee period. Uh, there's also attractive discounts available for members for any additional room hire required. Um, this is obviously depending on governmental guidelines. So this is the one benefit that I can't give you um, very hard and fast information on uh, as it just depends on what is happening in the state of play at the moment. But in general, we do find it very handy for team away days, for getting out of the office and working either strategically or building um, relationships between team members. And it's also very popular, uh, the, the discount room hire for the larger training rooms for when you might want to take a whole team out to do one of your own training courses or whatever you might need to do. It's also quite popular for AGMs and conferences. We have the full conference um, and event centre as well on our, on our Sandy Preferred campus. So that's the whistle stop tour of IMI Membership 2021. Um, we'll come on to the Q&A section now, but just to remind everyone, this is recorded. And we are here if you need to talk to us uh, an, on an individual basis. And we're more than happy to you know, discuss your specific requirements, um, give you some advice around what we've seen other members do um, and that sort of thing. We're always more than happy to have a chat. Uh, so I'm just going to pop open the portal and start answering some of these questions. Um, someone wants to know, how do I get my Knowledge Centre account? So that's actually very easy. You just go on to the library website. So if you just go to imi.ie, um, up on the right hand corner, you'll see Knowledge Centre. You just click into that. That will bring you to the Knowledge Centre um, website. And then again, on the right hand corner, um, 
you'll see a register for access form. So you just fill that in. The important thing to do there is to make sure you fill in your work email address and then it has to be an Irish based company. So um, it's to do with licensing. Um, it's only for Irish companies. So if you're based in the US, uh, you won't be eligible. Um, but it's the work email address that de determines whether you're entitled to a Knowledge Centre account or not. So the librarians actually physically look at this and I did and um, and uh, approve you for access. So it can take a couple of days. Um, and then, um, oh, sorry, yes, if you might go into spam. So if you don't see it within about two, maybe three days, just email knowledge at imi.e and then the librarians can manually send it through to you. Um, let's see, if a colleague has a problem accessing the Knowledge Centre, oh, yeah, or like if a, if a colleague has a problem accessing the Knowledge Centre using their email address, or if there's an error message or they can't remember their credentials or anything like that, just literally email knowledge at imi.ie and our very friendly librarians will be able to look into it and see what's affecting that specific person and their access. Um, and that goes for anything at the library. Um, you know, the, 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 the professional research support is a wonderful um, benefit as well. So like if you're starting um, looking into maybe, I don't know, delving into emotional intelligence or you want to look at uh, setting up a task force in the company about how you might implement a flexible working strategy and it's something that's new to you, you can just go straight to librarians and say, can you give me some recommended reading in this area, maybe a book and three articles and they will find these and send them back to you and it's a much quicker way um, especially if you're unfamiliar with the topic for you to start really delving into it in a very nice targeted way. Um, it just depends how quick it is, just depends on how many queries have come in and where you are in the list. Um, a couple of people have asked for a copy of slides. Yeah, so um, we will be sending a recording of this session along with um, the slide deck as well. And you all know my face now, so if you have any questions, uh, please do contact me personally, I'm more than happy to help. Um, Keith wants to know, is it possible to obtain CPD proof for the various options? Yes, Keith, there is. Uh, all you have to do is send in a request to events at IMI.e or membership at IMI.e and we'll be able to look it up. And uh, it's just an email that we send back that confirms your attendance. So what I would suggest is that if you're attending a digital event, make sure you don't drop off because we do look at the report to make sure that you did attend the full hour. And if you're coming to an in-person event, don't bypass the registration desk. Um, please don't bypass the registration desk anyway, because <laughs> we like to know who arrives. Um, but if you're specifically looking for CPD proof, always make sure to register so that we can actually look back on our attendance list and verify that. Um, what else have we got here? Oh, and just on the CPD stuff as well, it, I know it really depends on um, the criteria around it, but in the Knowledge Centre, in the two toolkits, there is a report in there um, on learning logs, it's called, or resources, re, resources viewed. Um, when you log into the Knowledge Centre and you access either the Leaders Toolkit or the HR Toolkit, it's again on the right hand side up at the top. Uh, it's a report that you can click on and you can pull an Excel spreadsheet down that shows the resources you've accessed. So if you work for an organization or if you're a part of a member organization that accepts um, kind of self-directed learning hours as well, that report can be pulled down and submitted to verify that you've, for example, read three articles on emotional intelligence that took 20 minutes to get through. Um, if you can't find it, either ask myself or the librarians if that is something that is helpful for you. Um, I'm going to answer maybe two, three more questions and then I'll follow up with everybody personally after that because um, I want to stick to the time. Um, ah, so somebody is saying that they are a member champion for their organization, but they're finding it a bit challenging to keep on top of the event emails. So in that situation, what I'd recommend is get someone to help. We can take on um, additional member champions. So the way we'd work it is you'd have your main membership champion. They'd be our main point of contact and would uh, hold the relationship between us and the member organization. And then you can have sub member champions on the same mailing list as you to help you administer that. Uh, sometimes if you've got a generic HR or L&D unit email address, that's the ideal one to have it so that everybody can keep an eye on it. So if people are out sick or on holidays, that someone's always picking up on it. Or similarly, it could just be another colleague in another department or in the same department that you just need to also receive those emails. We just need it in writing for GDPR reasons and permission. Um, 
I, Fiona wants to know, oh, she, she doesn't, she's not a hundred percent sure what level she is. How does she find that out? Uh, Fiona, just quickly contact us and we'll be able to let you know. So either go directly to your um, membership account manager, or you can just email in membership at imi.e. Um, I'm going to answer one more and then we'll finish for today. Um, I'm not a member champion Sarah says, and she wants to know how she registered for the event. Uh, so Sarah, it's very easy. You just need to identify who is your membership champion in the organization and they will receive the registration emails as the year progresses. So that's a communication from us that sh tells people how to register for the tickets. Um, it depends on the formation of the, the way the, for the event is um, presented, whether it's in person or digital. Um, and so each one ver might vary slightly. And the member champion is also the one who, who determines who is allocated the um, limited numbers. So if you're not sure who your member champion is, you can get in touch with us and we can look it up and let you know. And then you can speak to them internally and express your interest in about um, getting um, access to those events or um, the recordings. Uh, I know I said that was the last one, but I'll, ask, I'll, I'll answer one more and then we'll finish up for today. Um, Mark wants to know, he's interested in hearing more about how he can utilize the events and resources apart as part of his L&D activities. Um, and that today gave him a food for thought. Oh, Mark, you can either just contact um, me directly in membership at imi.e or your membership account manager. And what we can do is just kind of listen to what your requirements are. Um, you know, I'm sure you've had some idea today about how you can start leveraging what you have. And, um, you know, because we know these resources inside and out, and um, particularly things like how you might leverage the IMI insights, our, you know, our white papers, our podcasts, our webinar series, um, and the Knowledge Centre um, will be able to kind of give you a sense of what maybe other people are using or, you know, connect the dots for you so that you don't have to spend ages reading through everything. Um, so I'll leave that as the last one today. I've got about two or three more questions that I'll follow up with people directly. And if you do think of anything afterwards, um, do just contact us um, either membership at imi.ie or um, your personal membership champion. Um, so I'll leave that for today. Um, I just want to say that um, it's been really lovely um, speaking to everyone today. It would have been nice to see everyone's faces. Um, it's an interesting webinar. It's our la literally our last one of 2020, but it almost feels like we're in 2021 already because it's a forward planning. Um, but as always, thank you so much for your time and attention today. And I hope this was of value to you. And I really look forward to welcoming you back into the IMI next year and hopefully we'll see you in person again. Many thanks and goodbye. <laughs>